all right guys so we've got another image sent let's take a look at his instagram so i'll be linking him down in the description guys if you like his work go give him a follow let him know you found him through this tutorial so straight away really uh, a lot of contrast and a lot of pop and then there's a really strong fade to those blacks so we're gonna have to bring up that black point and then uh, a little bit of mac look to the highlights as well so crispy bringing up clarity possibly bring up the sharpening as well and then getting that smooth mac look with the curves and then we're gonna have to do a steep curve in the rgb channels to get that really strong contrast and then like there's not many shadows compared to how dark their blacks are so we're gonna have real crunchy blacks and then those shadows get bright quite quickly so we come down this is the image we're working with trying to recreate this we've got the raw image and and yeah if you guys like his work go give him a follow we've got quite vibrant tones as well so we're going to try to bring those out okay so getting into this edit i'll show you guys the cropping so if we just whack this four by five zoomed in a bit not too much to it let's come back right so um 260 millimeters really zoomed in and a shutter of 1 600 it's got to be at least double your length and then iso low because it's bright and then uh, high f stop because you're going to have a very shallow depth of field that zoomed in so let's get into it so as you can see we've got some whites in the image and you can see his are a bit more blue ours is a bit warm so we're just going to drop the warmth and we are going to push the tint just because everything looks a little green it's more purples just a bit so here's the before and after of that right so um, a lot's going to be done in the curve and I'll just show you the curves so I'm going to lift the blacks up a lot because he's got really deep blacks that have a real fade to them so what we're going to have to do is do really deep curves in the color channels and then a nice curve in this channel so I can't see anything now that's why I want to bring up the blacks a lot exposure um, so highlights brings back a lot of detail so like i'll look at this area of the image bring it down you can see all those feathers so we know to have to bring it down a little bit bring it right down like we can see all these feathers can't see that in his so we'll just go there shadows up because we want to be able to see like the back of the bird a little bit uh, whites it's got a bit of a pop to it so we're gonna bring our whites up quite a bit so again here we've just got a little cap off to those whites a little bit of a mac look we've got a strong fade to those blacks there with this coming up so that's it straight that's it up so that nice fade there and then his image is very crunchy yet smooth so what we're gonna do to get the crunchiness we're gonna really bring up the clarity and then color's going to pop a bit we'll do some more hsl so we'll just do this roughly okay so we'll just jump to doing a filter so i've already placed them if we click on it here let's drop the exposure this is going to frame our subject way way better um, and then but let's keep all these bright bits popping by upping the whites yeah, it looks good. Now let's carry on with some colors and stuff like that. So if we come down, so if we come into the highlights, we will go, so we've already got a nice purple there, nice blue. So we're looking a little green. Um, we've already changed our tint a bit. We'll go 13. It's gonna take out quite a bit of those greens, a bit more purple. Then in the shadows, we'll do roughly the same thing. we'll add in a 13 saturation and now we're starting to get those purples in the back of the bird it's very very faint it's just that they weren't a greenish tone which is what we had before so a greenish tone we're getting that purple but we need to desaturate a lot of our colors so so up hsl let's drop few of these uh, 
Okay, uh, and then we'll drop the luminance of the colors too. Well, some of them. Just make them deeper, so luminance, the brightness of your colors. There's not many greens in this. Keep them there. Now the blues, the blues are all in the background. I feel like we need to make all this blue in the background shine. You can't really see it now. It's luminance, the blues up. And that really makes them pop there. Aquas, there's aquas in there too. Okay. Okay, now they, now they look quite purple, the blues do. So we're going to shift these. And then you might be like, well, the only reason they look purple is because you added in so much purple in the, sh in the shadows down here. Well, I wanted to add purple mainly to the back of the bird, which doesn't have blue in it. Or very not very much so we'll do the aquas I think aquas might be better to work with make them more of a green and then yellows make a feet of the bird more or more yellow and then the yellows which is like this part of the foot I'm gonna make more orange um, beak of the bird we're gonna make pretty red I guess Mm, we'll make it red. Um, we could have a few more teals to the blues. We'll just shift them a touch. Okay, we'll come down. And now one other thing that was quite obvious about this photo is how smooth it is. But it looks so crunchy at the same time. I'm going to bring up the noise reduction to keep it quite smooth. And then we'll go sharpening to keep it a bit of crunch. Okay, so I just think we look quite a bit too purple in the background and the back of the bird um, instead of doing trying to do it that way what we'll do is just come down to split turning again and we're going to shift our split turning from purple we'll, we'll get rid of it a bit so we'll just add in a little bit a lot less that's going to make it more green and then we'll just come across as well bringing in more greens even though you're adding in cyan you're still making it more green because you're getting closer to green uh it's sweet we'll go with that and that pretty much finished our edit now there's a few other things like if we hit the brush tool here i've already placed the brush but it's just right on its eye um and we just go exposure so that's with the brush and that's without so we just let's get back right so maybe if we just dial it back a bit or what I want to do before I dial it back I'll just go keep it there before I dial it back what I'll do is just bring down the exposure we've got another one here I'm just gonna bring down the exposure of the entire birds face and we'll bring up the contrast too so we're just gonna like make the face pop especially cool and that darkened our eye anyway because it added in um more shadows and yeah this one this one looks extra smooth because uh it's a screenshot off instagram as well so could also maybe drop the sharpening but then it kind of loses that crispy look so maybe the soft smooth look is kind of from a uh, screenshot off instagram but what i'll also need to do actually is come down and we'll add in grain and that can really help smooth out the image like I find it looks not very smooth at the moment now it looks a bit nicer in my opinion I think that adds a good texture to the image and makes it look a little nicer and smooth okay and that's gonna be it for this tutorial I think the our beak maybe could be like more orange and then stand out more with more saturation um, final touches I think the birds like chest could like be popping out more so it's probably like the whites to be brought up a bit um, or a bit higher here in the curves um, yeah pretty close uh, I'll just leave it there guys there's our before and after before and after Right guys, thanks for watching. If you guys want to get a free training on how to understand color, 
and the curves there is a link down in the description a free training that you guys can go watch a full hour for you guys and you'll learn a lot there about color getting the exact color you want and then also understand the curves probably the two main foundational points you need to know especially listening to your guys comments in the comment section you guys really struggle with the curves and what people don't teach and what people don't know what to look up is color theory and how to mix colors and create the color you want so free training down in the description make sure you guys go watch that but you got the course if you want to go to the next level thanks for watching guys leave a comment leave a like comment people you want to see because then i can go reach out to them to be part of this youtube channel thanks for watching guys and i'll catch you in the next one